tutorials bundle buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to create a cross design and use it in symbols in Illustrator. Just had an email about this, so someone just asked me. I thought, okay, quickly uh, show you how to quickly create a very basic cross. So there's a basic start point of the cross. I'm just going to go for, well, of course, you could change the color. And once you've done that, you've got the basic rectangle. You can then just quickly add another horizontally. And of course, next thing to do, obviously to make it nicely uh, symmetric, just go over here to the horizontal line center and then shape over here, Pathfinder, and set Unite. And there it, very, very basic cross design. Now, the next thing I do actually quite often is I actually hold the Alt down because I don't want to save that one as a symbol. I just want to quickly save this one. So just drag that across to the symbols. As to a panel, now there's an option for dynamic symbol. That's a way of uh, being able to change the color very quickly, as well as add, add other things using the direct selection tool. But um, I'm just gonna go with that one, but you could go with the static symbol. That was the default earlier, earlier versions. So click OK. Right, so now it's a symbol. You can just see it over there, the symbol. It's got a little plus. That's a dynamic symbol. So just gonna move that now. But of course, if you wanna create something more complex than that, and of course you can add to it in numerous ways, but you can just do things like maybe make a rounded design, perhaps. You can also maybe add a stroke to it instead of just going with a like that, so you've actually got something a bit more. And also, of course, you can use width profiles, so you can just quickly add, change it like that, just create a number of variations, or maybe make it a bit wider than that. I'm just going to just go with that one. And you can use the appearance to add maybe other colors, maybe add, instead of using obviously a solid color, you can just use maybe a gradient. And then just go over to the gradient tool and just change the gradient there. You can also apply, of course, just add maybe a swatch. Of course, you can add anything to the swatches palette. So a variety of different cross designs can be made then. And then of course, you can just quickly again, just go over and just add it to the symbols over here, like that. Now, I'm not gonna do that one, because what I'm gonna do, you can of course, just go back to black, and then hold the Alt down, and maybe make that one red, and so you can create a very basic shadow, or maybe add effects, There's a whole range of different effects that could be added, such as blurs, etc. so you can make a slightly more interesting preview, click OK, and then save that over to the symbols as well. And that's it. Quick way of making some of fairly interesting symbol designs. Of course, you could use extrude and much more. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.